meeting tonight. It's a special meeting. It's just before Christmas, so we decided to have fun. Now, I see that we have a lot of guests over here. This is not a normal Toastmasters meeting. Normally, we first have the speeches, then the evaluations, and then a general value, who kind of summarizes the whole meeting. This time around, we're going to do it differently. We're going to have it the opposite way around. So, the general evaluator is going to come up here and he's going to tell us everything that we did right and wrong during the meeting. Then we're going to have the evaluations telling us what the speakers did right and wrong during their speeches. And then we're going to have table topics where you're going to be called up. Listen to the, to the person over there. She's the table topics evaluator and she's going to say who they are going to call up. Clara, you can wave to everybody. All right, great. She's going to say who is going to be called up and what mistakes they made. So it could be a mistake like you were standing the whole time on one foot and you were giving a speech. It's here, we're here to have fun. This is nothing, you don't have to be precise. If you don't fulfill all, everything, it's okay. After that, we're going to have the speeches and uh, the speakers are going to try and incorporate what the evaluators told them they should say, or do, whatever. And finally, or even before that, we're going to have a grammarian who's going to tell us what mistakes we should make. <laughs> and the timer is going to tell us how we conserved or did not conserve the time, and we should try and adhere to that. Now, every time you do something right, this goes to the evaluators, to the timekeeper, and to the general evaluator, when they tell you that you should do something, and you do it during your speech, or during your evaluation, the person should knock that gave you the evaluation. And that means that you did it. And we're trying to get as many knocks as possible. So please try and get as many as you can. Now, to end our meeting, we're moving ahead in time and going backwards. So it's 9 o'clock, we're ending. And to end our meeting, I'd like to thank the general evaluator for getting, giving his great evaluation, Lukasz Liebig. Wow. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, tonight you have just made me proud to be a <laughs> member of Prague Business Postmasters because this was the best Toastmaster meeting I've ever attended in my life. I'm impressed. Respect. Right now, I will tell how we did in the meeting today. And I will tell the recommendation, recommendation to everybody who was here tonight who hasn't been evaluated by the evaluator yet. So please, so that you make sure that next time you will improve upon your today's performance, please take a pen in your hand and write down notes to write down all the sentences of wisdom that I will be giving today <laughs> for free. Let's start. Peter, our Toastmaster today. What can I say? You all have seen it, right? <laughs> I think we can, we can just go into the video library and watch hours and hours of Peter's performance just to learn what Toastmastering, what public speaking is about, which is actually what I do every weekend. Uh, just for today, what I'd like to point out Metaphors. You had a couple of them during the preaches, but the most amazing one was when you spoke about the Solomons swimming against the stream when you introduced the speech of Pavel Farsky. That was really brilliant. The Solomons <laughs> swimming against the stream. I was very impressed. Also, very high energy. Your gestures, your energy was even higher than last time, and you showed your mastery of the stage by being able to walk the aisle all the way up and down, and then come back. This really brought some movement to the meeting. One thing I would 
it's for not clear recommendation, just for consideration. It's about the jokes. And it, I believe it's good when Toastmaster makes jokes, but it's important to consider where they do not destroy the speaker. And when you were introducing Tomasz Sedlmayer and you gave the joke about his sister and, <laughs> and the man who came to fix the washing machine, I was not sure whether Tomasz was able to start his speech really well. <laughs> I thought it was a great performance. To go further with the evaluators, Nicola. I mean, Nicola is a perfect fit for Prague Business Toastmasters. Just look at him and his evaluations. It's the kind of I get in performance performance review meetings with my with my boss. It's perfect. It's motivational. Nicolas evaluation today a perfect structure. Opening two commendations, two recommendations, and a summary in the end. By the book. Well done. <laughs> what I would recommend is sometimes you speak very slowly and make too many pauses. Try to speed up a little bit. <laughs> and the next time also without the chewing gum. <laughs> but I, I like I like your evaluation. <laughs> Christina. Christina, she's a typical motivator. I, I can imagine that if Tomasz would be just standing here with his mouth silent, Christina would just you know speak to him like Seth Godin has just left the stage. That is what Toastmasters is about. It's not about a performance like whether the speaker is good or bad. It's about helping them become better. And I really like that about you. You can motivate everybody. Especially especially men, I think. <laughs> and everybody as well. You have a big smile that you use all the time. And I also like how you pointed out inappropriate language that Tomáš used in his speech. It's very important. We're business club. <laughs> so we try to be decent. <laughs> um, recommendations. Sometimes you hold your hands in front of your body. You hold them together. And at one point, you, you somehow lost stability. I almost had the feeling that you almost fell like over here, Caroline. Maybe some people didn't notice, but I had, I had the feeling. Maybe try to be more calm. Jakub? Jakub Gradochil, where is, where is he? Technically, your evaluation was perfect by the book, similar to Nicolas. One thing that really scared me when you told Elena that, Elena, it was a good speech for a girl. <laughs> I'm not sure what you, what you mean. I, I'm sure you meant it well, but it can be interpreted <laughs> in, in, in different ways. Ryan. Do you know what I like about Ryan? Everything. <laughs> Especially when Ryan's giving table topics, it's just, he's just able to pump people up. One speaker after the other. Amazing topics, and what you could have seen was that Ryan was really well prepared for the table topic session. One recommendation, don't be so aggressive when inviting people up on the stage. I know that you wanted Peter Hall to perform here, but when he said, no, I'm a Toastmaster, you still insisted, they say, no, Peter, come. And then it was this little argument and it wasn't necessary. It took away from, from the flow of the meeting. And try, try to skip that the next time. Ondra, the R counter. Mm, you saw you counted our R's, arms, even our... It's good. We should also avoid the say, if verbal sounds. <laughs> what, what, what surprised me a little bit, when you, when you, when you gave comments to Clara, you said, you said, Clara, you got two arms, but it doesn't really matter because your eyes are beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I think, well, this really fits <laughs> to the bush at, to the bush at those masters, but again, here we try to be professional, and I don't think this belongs here. <laughs> but I understand in your case, you're a guest here, so you can afford that, it's okay. <laughs> Who, who else? Then we have the, the grammarian, Ewan. <laughs> I just fell in love with the word of the day. It reminded me of my childhood, and it reminded me of the time I spent with, with my dog and with my sister. It, it just, you know, started, started my, my, my fantasy started flowing. So great choice for the word of the day. My recommendation, hmm, when somebody makes a mistake, I wouldn't come back to him and say, well, that was really a stupid mistake. <laughs> We're not only the speakers. I'm, yeah, sometimes I want to use some of the mistakes. can sound stupid, but we're just trying to learn the language. We try to become better. Mm, is there somebody? Oh, yes, Caroline. Caroline. Very precise timing. I like that. Maybe even a little too precise when you said, 
Um, the evaluation was three minutes, 17 seconds, 953 milliseconds. That's, well, you don't need to be that precise. But better, more precise than less. So I like that in the end. Is here somebody who, will, who was performing today whom I forgot? Clara. Oh, Clara. <laughs> you, you are just a brilliant example of experience. Clara is one of the founding members of Prague Business Toastmasters, which, which is enough. Clara was, had perfect smile for everybody. Clara, I'm sorry, I really don't have a recommendation for you. Maybe, maybe one little thing, but I will tell you in the pub. <laughs> all in all, amazing meeting. I just hope that all the meetings from now on are going to be just like that, Mr. Ghostmaster. <laughs>